Boston, founded in 1630, is Massachusetts' capital and also its largest city and, as of 2010, has approximately 617,000 residents. It is famed for the key role it played in the American Revolution as well as being home to many prestigious universities and technical colleges such as Harvard Medical and Business Schools, MIT, Boston University, Berkeley College of Music, Tufts University and the University of Massachusetts Amherst to name just a few. Here are the top 10 things to do in Boston. Museum of Fine Arts Boston's Museum of Fine Arts is one of North America's largest, and home to more than 450,000 works of art. The museum is huge, so make sure the family have on their comfortable walking shoes. The museum's collection is spectacular and includes a wonderful array of French Impressionist paintings as well as a magnificent classical collection, where you can enjoy taking in the plentiful amount of frescoes and sculptures from the villa of the Contrato Bataro in Pompeii. Boston Public Garden These charming public gardens were created in 1634 and modified in the Victorian age, with the assistance of the then newly formed Boston Parks and Recreation Department, introducing over 80 species of plants from both local and varied locations around the city. Vibrant floral patterns were created using the very new techniques of hybridizing and propagating, eventually leading to the importing of exotic trees and plants. Fenway Park Tour. Take the family on a tour of Fenway Park, home to the famous Boston Red Sox. It will make attending future games even more fun. Fenway Park is the oldest ballpark in Major League Baseball history and, though relatively small and only able to seat 40,000 spectators, has certainly seen plenty of exciting baseballs, soccer and hockey action, not to mention political and religious campaigns. Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum. A completely new type of museum, this is where the family can view not only artifacts of historical importance but also enjoy a multi-sensory experience. This floating museum is made up of high-tech interactive exhibits, restored tea ships, absorbing documentaries all about this famous event and knowledgeable actors bringing you a sense of how it all happened, with a perfect sense of flair and drama. John F. Kennedy Presidential Museum and Library Dedicated to the tragically brief life of John F. Kennedy, this museum and library depict the famous man's leadership and legacy, while at the same time illustrating the nature of a president's office. The beautiful building was constructed to overlook the president's beloved Boston, offering a wonderful view of the city skyline as well as an outdoor walkway along the Dorchester Bay. Old North Church. This is Boston's oldest surviving church. Founded in 1722, Old North Church is also the city's most visited historical site being the location from which the phrase, one if by land, and two if by sea, signal is thought to have been sent, which relates to Paul Revere's famous midnight ride of April 18, 1775, preceding the American Revolution battles of Lexington and Concord. Boston Brewery Tours these fun tours offer both a day and evening option, and consist of a super time for the visiting adults of the family. The tours focus on the city's popular brew pub scene with the chance to learn all about the mechanics and history of brewing beer, as well as visiting four different Boston breweries. Enjoy learning all about the making of beer, talk with some brewery owners, participate in either lunch or dinner and the opportunity to sample between 15 to 20 award-winning pilsners, stouts, and other beers. Yummy Walks. How does a culinary walking tour for all the family that includes plenty of mouth-watering goodies sound? This three-and-a-half-hour outing will take you through North End, Boston's Italian district, stopping at various venues to sample amazing balsamic vinegars, olive oil, pancetta, and delicious cheeses, before sitting down to a lunch consisting of ample portions of three different pasta dishes, then continuing on to a pizzeria serving huge slices of wood-fired pizza. Beacon Hill. Beacon Hill, a neighborhood of federal-style row houses, is not only a historic part of Boston but also one of the most desirable areas to live in these days. It is worth having a walk around the area to view its brick sidewalks and narrow streets with their prettily decorated lampposts. The Arnold Arboretum. This is a lovely spot for the whole family to enjoy. 
Harvard University's Arnold Arboretum was designed by American landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted and is the second largest link in the Emerald Necklace, which consists of a 1,100-acre chain of parks that are linked by waterways and parkways throughout Boston.